Ray tracing has caught a lot of attention nowadays. It promises to bring a whole new level of visual fidelity to tomorrow's games. But what exactly is ray tracing beyond a cool marketing term? To fully answer that question, you'd have to understand how we see objects in real life. In the real world, we see by having light bounce off objects before the rays eventually reach our eyes. We also see the whole collective result of light bouncing around and interacting with all the surface materials, creating effects like reflections, refractions, and caustics. To actually simulate this in a computer would just be too computationally expensive, having to also calculate the rogue rays that don't eventually reach the camera. Ray tracing, to put simply, is the reverse of this process. Instead of a light-centric approach, we have a camera-centric approach, where the rays emit off the camera originating from every pixel of the screen that the camera is trying to capture. Once a ray encounters the surface, it will calculate its angle relative to all the light sources in the screen to determine how bright it should be shaded. Multiple rays then can be bounced off from this point to be absorbed or bent to create the effects of reflection and refraction. This process creates a realistic image because it's a decent model for reality. Ray tracing, as it stands now, is just too computationally expensive in a gaming context, where the screen needs to be recalculated 60 times a second. Even the demos you see today are still hybrids of ray tracing and rasterizing, the current widespread way of rendering graphics in games. But it's a technology that software developers and hardware manufacturers are optimizing towards. Because the current method for rendering graphics, rasterizing, requires jumping through multiple computer hoops to create a realistic image. Effects like caustic, soft shadows, and reflections need to be specifically implemented to the shaders. Ray tracing is something worth looking towards because it's a closer model of reality, meaning that developers will be more led by artistic intent instead of being bogged down by technical constraints, possibly cutting down development costs and technical headaches in the long run.